Atefa bu saif gazan jaio zen. Mimila emeretzian, Palestinako aginte nazionalak kultura ministro izen datu zuen eta zizkordaniera aldatu zen. Mimila goeta iruko urriaren zazpian baina gazan zegoen. Egun hartan, infernuko ateak parez pare ireki ziren gazan. Laro goeta bost egun egin zituen bertan, harik eta handik nola edo ala atera ali izan zuten arte. Egun haietan ikusitakoari eta oroz gain bizitakoari buruzko kronikak albezala idatzi zituen palestinarrak eta gazatik mundura bidali. Kronika horiek gertatutakoaren lekukotasun paregabea ematen dute eta guztiak bilduta genozidio baten egunerokoa osatzen dute. Of a man swimming in the beach and the water broking out, and you know it was like a fiction for me. I didn't, I didn't realize that this fiction is going to be a long war. But then after, after a while, I was keep writing for myself at the beginning. Then I realized that you know I have to send it to my publishers to, uh, you know, in Arabic and English. I was writing, and the writing process itself is very hard because sometimes when we we didn't have electricity in Gaza. Sometimes I had to walk for three kilometers to charge my laptop uh, from my sister's house. She has uh, a cellular energy, you know. And then, so, then I have to walk like another one kilo, three kilos to the borders to get signal because there was no internet. So I go close to, to the fighting zone. And it was very dangerous to send what I wrote because I thought that writing is a mission. Writing is uh, a trust, responsibility, you know. I have to write because I want to write about the people. At the beginning, I wanted to write for myself. Then I realized that, you know, through my writing, I can, I can tell about the people. And at a certain time, our writing became part of telling about the war because there was no much journalist in Palestine, in Gaza, at that time. You know, there were when October 7th started, no single journalist European were in Gaza. And at a certain time, we were left in Gaza City, and it's north. Most of the international and Arab big agencies, they asked their reporters to leave Gaza City and go to the south. So what I was writing was kind of sometimes, you know, telling the stories of the people and what happens. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah when, when, when you start to think of telling about the war, then you have to find a formula. And it doesn't tell the date, actually, of the... Usually, the, because, you know, in the war, After five days, we forget a, which, date we, which day we were in, or which date, actually. So we say the first day, uh, it is the, th the seventh day, it's the 20th day. Until now, even in Gaza, when you call them, believe me, they don't know the date. They say it's the, the, three, the third hundred, uh, 35, now it's the 33 days, 333 days. So this is the formula of, of, of life in Gaza. Because what matters for them, it's not the actual, uh, if it's November or December or March or April. Or, what matters for them is which day in the world they are. It's the same. This is the time when you feel your life is attached, not to the actual date, to the process of war itself. There's no life. You know? Or what you lie. The only issue is like, uh, survive. Yeah, but, but, but where you, uh, you know the title in Arabo, it's called, a uh, 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 time out for survival in Arabic. It's time out, you know. Because, but we, what we live, we don't live. It's death all around us, but those moments are the time out that we take to survive. Because the natural discourse was death. And you, sometimes you're not sure if you're dead or not, actually. And you, you imagine yourself among the, not, uh, among the other deads, you know? And, you know, so, so what matters is war itself. For this, the calendar of the people, back to the titles, the, the numbers of the dead, the calendar of the people is attached to war, not to life. So, no, this is not a political book, and I, I don't want to write a political book, because a political book can be done by political scientists <coughs> or researchers. <coughs> And um, though I'm a political scientist by profession as well, I was teaching political science in Gaza University. But I didn't want to write a, a political, a factual and 
analytical book. He was writing about life as it is. Life as I lived it. It's not in fiction, we write about life as we wish it to be. So we, as writers, we create life. So we put our characters here and there, and we make them act. But in this, I didn't make up characters. The characters are from flesh and blood, and they have souls. And, uh, so it's, it's, and it's not a historical book. It's just, you know, I was just photocopying, like what journalists will do. They'll take images and photos. So I was doing this in words. You know, nobody knows the future of this war. Only Netanyahu, the crazy man who is controlling this war. So, you know, it could last for another year. And instead of solving the, or going to cease fire, he went to another war to expand, he expanded the war. Because he wanted more of the war. And unfortunately, nobody can force him to stop this war. So, if we leave him, he will go more even to other wars. So, for him, the, the aim of the, the goal of this war is war. The next day of war is another war. Unless the international community force him, forces him to stop it. No, unfortunately. No.